Parenting in Lockdown. Assalamu alaikum. It's part of the Bima Mental Health in Lockdown series. Today we are following Mr. and Mrs. Patel. They live with their six children aged from 6 to 16. And since the lockdown, everybody has been at home, including Mr. Patel, who has been working from home as well. This has come with its own challenges, ranging from the children walking in during the meetings or his wife shouting at him to do housework while he's on call with his boss. The children have also been getting bored and been fighting more amongst themselves, and are generally fed up of staying indoors. Mrs. Patel has been trying to keep the peace, but has struggled at times. The lockdown has changed how we all live our lives. For those with children, it will have presented many challenges. Even though we often spend more time with family during Ramadan, this year it truly is a Ramadan at home. Uncertainty can lead to anxiety, which can affect anybody and everybody within the family. To help deal with this insecurity and anxiety, we have to decrease uncertainty in our lives. You could start by keeping a daily timetable with Ramadan activities. These could include learning a surah, reading the Quran, or memorizing a dua. There are also many other fun Islamic activities online. There are visual activities along with visual schedules, particularly beneficial for younger children. It's important to try and keep to structure and routine as much as possible. One of the challenges of a busy household during lockdown is managing children and their tantrums. Parents can help children work through this. A useful strategy to use is stop. S for stop. Just pause for a moment. T, take a breath. One slow, deep breath. O, for observe. So what's the trigger and behavior? P, for pull back. So pull yourself back from the knee-jerk reaction. P. Practice or proceed. What can you do right now? This may also depend on the behavior. You can also use the ABC approach. A. For antecedents to the behavior. So what was happening before? B. So what was the actual behavior? C. Consequences. What, the, what did the behavior achieve? Sometimes it's enough to change the environment and triggers to reduce the unwanted behaviors. Other strategies you can use is relaxation. So breathing exercises for yourself as well as your child if they're angry. Mindful breathing. Picturing a calming scenery. You can do tesbi with your kids. Meditation and kids yoga. Think about where you can put your focus of attention right now. What else can you do that would help you tolerate these feelings without reacting to them? A lot of times, parents' worries come out as anger and irritability taken out on children. It is important to remember that these are uncertain times for everyone, and children need to feel safe and loved. We all need to be more forgiving, especially in this blessed month. We need to role model how we manage our anxieties, because children will very quickly pick up negative vibes. This can have huge impacts on their future coping mechanisms. If they see their parents are calm, that's how they will behave when faced with novel challenging situations. However, if they witness their parents shouting and bawling, then that is what they will see as the norm. So be mindful of how you react and take time out for yourself. You need to put your oxygen mask before others so you are available to them.